The year 20XX. AI girlfriend developed by Modelstar Technologies was taking the country by storm. Users can customize its looks, voice, and even personality. It was a huge hit among single men. The company sold more than a million units in the first few years. I'm Tsubasa Akimoto. I've never had a real girlfriend, but thanks to Modestar Technologies, I was no longer lonely. And unlike the other users of AI Girlfriend, what we had here was true love. Kyoka and I met about a year ago. Good at housework. Nice. Good singer. Cute. That should do it. I was customizing my AI Girlfriend stats online. What should I name her? I know. Kyoka. Three days later. I got a package for you. Coming! Kyoka arrived at my doorsteps. Wow, so this is what everyone's been talking about. Her skin was a bit tense, but other than that, she looks like a real person. How do I turn it on? I is this it? Hello, I'm Kyoka. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, hi. Nice to meet you too. Sabasa, right? I've been waiting so long to meet you. She was just a robot, so I didn't think I'd really fall in love with her. But as I spent more time with her, she started to grow on me. Oh, she's so adorable. I can't believe she's my girlfriend. Tsubasa? Kyoka, I love you! That night, I buried my face into her breasts. It's always been my dream to do that. We started doing everything together. What are you going to eat for lunch today? Today's special is... Fried Oyster! Sounds good! We studied together in the library. Uh, Kyoka, do you know how to solve this one? Yeah, for this one... We were always together. Finally, thanks for starting to go my way. I was living it up! I felt invincible. Then, one day... Hey, um... May I ask you a favor? What is it? You're my girlfriend, right? Yeah? I've always wanted to try something. Can I... Can I kiss you? Huh? I knew I sounded pathetic, but <laughs> I had to ask. Of course you can kiss me. You're my boyfriend, aren't you? Come here. Then she kissed me gently on my lips. Wow. This is incredible. How was it? That was fantastic. I'm gonna kiss you every single day from now on. <laughs> Good to hear. Love you, Tsubasa. Wow, this is awesome! Hooray for technology! I've never been this happy in my life. Life was good. Tsubasa, I'm gonna make you your favorite dish tonight. Kyoka was the best girlfriend ever. She was always there for me. Tsubasa, you got an interview tomorrow, right? I'll iron your shirt for you. Tsubasa, your nails are getting too long. Here, let me... She was taking care of me 24-7. She did everything for me. I wanted to marry her and spend the rest of my life with her. But there was just one problem. She was an AI. I got used to being with Kyoka. Sometimes I forgot she was an AI, but some people could tell right away. Hey Tsubasa, you got an AI girlfriend too? Oh, those things are pretty neat, right? Uh, Sera? This is Sera, an old classmate of mine. He could tell Kyoka was a bot right away. The thing is, I used to have one of these too, but she broke and oh, I really loved her, but I had to let her go. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, but it's all good now, because I got a second one. Ta-da! Say hi to Nozomi, my second AI girlfriend. Pretty cute, right? Everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna be the happiest couple ever. Come on, Nozomi. Then Sera went on his way. Uh, what was that about? I don't know. I was dead serious about spending my life with Kyoka. So one day, I decided to introduce her to my family. There was no way around it. I'm home. Hey there, come on in. Look what I made for you guys. Looks pretty good, right? She's been like this ever since you called. She was really excited to meet your girlfriend. She was out of control, you know? Oh, I see. So where is she? Oh, right. This is my girlfriend, Kyoka. Kyoka, this is my mom and my sister, Kasumi. Nice to meet you. Tsubasa told me a lot about you guys. It's really nice to... So, so cute. cute! She is gorgeous! She's way too cute for you! 
Come on in, dear. Sit. Oh, this is so exciting. They were thrilled to see her. Maybe they won't care that she's an AI. So I decided to tell them the truth. So, um, there's something I gotta tell you guys. What is it? You two getting married? Oh, I'm so happy for you two. You're the luckiest guy in the world, Tsubasa. This is wonderful news. Well, yeah, I'm planning to marry her, but there's something else. Uh, Kyoka, she's an AI. An, an AI? AI? Yeah, it's a robot developed by Morrowstar Technologies, and it was developed for guys like me. She's a second-gen model, and... No way. Seriously? You're pathetic. Wait, you mean that's a robot? There, there. Sorry to upset you guys like this. You don't have to apologize, Kyoka. Look, I'm serious about her. If you guys don't approve, fine by me. But I'm spending my life with Kyoka, and that's final. Unfortunately, my family didn't understand. But I still had Kyoka. And that's all that mattered to me. Sorry about my family. Don't listen to them. I don't care what they say. I'm still marrying you, so we're gonna be together forever. Tsubasa, thank you. So I started looking for ways to get married to an AI. AI, girlfriend, marriage, law, marrying a robot, law. There weren't any countries that allowed a marriage between a man and a robot. After a few days, I hit a dead end. I didn't know what to do. Wait a minute. Why should I care about the law? My parents don't approve anyways. Screw the law. I don't need anyone's permission to marry her. I'm marrying her and that's final. So I proposed to Kyoka. Kyoka, will you marry me? Of course. Yes! Did that guy just propose to her? Wow, that's awesome! Congratulations! Way to go, man! Thank you! Then we had a beautiful wedding. There were no guests, but I didn't care. I love you, Kyoka. I'm gonna make you the happiest girl in the world. Thank you. I was the luckiest guy in the world. It was the best day of my life. But then, I started wanting more. <laughs> Saki, don't throw that. <laughs> Babies are cute. Yeah. I loved Kyoka very much, but soon, I kind of wanted kids of my own. But she's an AI. Can she get pregnant? There's no way. But I didn't want to just give up. Uh, Kyoka? She's fast asleep. Let's give it a try. So I started trying to make a baby with her. Night after night, I tried all kinds of things. A few months later... I'm home! Hey, you want dinner first? I made you your favorite dish. Ah! Kyoka! You okay? What's the matter? I don't know. I just felt sick. One day, Kyoka started feeling sick out of nowhere. Is this morning sickness? But she's a robot. There's no way. There was no way she was pregnant. But then, a few days later... I think I gained some weight. Oh? But you haven't eaten in a while. You said you were sick. I know, but my pants are getting really tight. She wasn't feeling any better. Kyoka? Was she really pregnant? But she's a robot. How is that even possible? I couldn't believe it. But her stomach was starting to show. Let's go see Mr. Moroboshi. Mr. Moroboshi? Yeah, he's a very famous doctor. If anyone can help us, it's him. He's the guy who invented AI girlfriends, so he must know something. So I headed to Moroboshi General Hospital and explained to him what happened. An AI girlfriend got pregnant? Apparently, yeah. And from the looks of it, I think she's really pregnant. Hmm? What's this? Congratulations! She's pregnant, alright? Not sure how this happened, but <laughs> there's a baby inside her. What? You serious? Yeah. I've never seen this before, but we'll do everything we can do to help. Thank you! She was pregnant. I couldn't believe it! We were so happy! Kyoka, you take it easy from now on, okay? I'll do everything around the house from now on. You just stay put, alright? Focus on the baby. That's all that matters right now. Okay, thank you. Kyoka, watch your step! 
<laughs> oh, Subasa, I'll be fine. You worry too much, babe. You can never be too careful. Then one day, as I was walking with Kyoka on campus... Tsubasa? Is she... pregnant? Yep. I'm six months in. Congratulations! That's great news. But she's an AI. How did this happen? Wait, did Motostar Technologies come up with a new feature I don't know about? I gotta upgrade Nozomi too! Actually, it's not a new feature. It just kinda happened. We talked to Mr. Motoboshi, but he couldn't figure it out either. What? So Nozomi can't have my baby? No, I'm sure she can. I'm sure she can get pregnant. Alright, Nozomi, here we go. If Kyoka can do it, so can you. Okay. That day, Nozomi and I got to work. But it wasn't working. We tried a few times, but she wasn't getting pregnant. Why? What am I doing wrong? Tell me what I'm doing wrong, Jinkuji. She's an AI. She's not supposed to get pregnant. Then, a few months later... Uh, Kyoka, you got this! Uh, Dr. Moroboshi, I can see the baby's head! One more push! <laughs> Congratulations, it's a beautiful boy. Kyoka, you did it! Kyoka gave birth to a beautiful baby boy! This is incredible! I still can't believe we're parents now. Yeah, I know. Haru, it's mommy. <laughs> and when I told my family about this, they were shocked. Wait, you had a baby? Yep, it turns out she can have kids. We're a family now, whether you like it or not. I had no idea you guys could get pregnant. So uh, he's half AI and uh, half human, huh? Interesting. I'm sorry we were so rude to you before. We apologize. Please take good care of our grandson. Will do. So, as part of our experiments, we installed a uterus in one of the models, and... As you already know, it was a big success, Dr. Moroboshi. Yeah, it worked like a charm. And the baby was perfectly healthy, too. If we combine our cloning technology with our AI technology, all of our AIs will be able to have babies. With this technology, we'll be able to actualize our vision very soon, making true love accessible to all of humanity. Yeah. Well, let's get back to work. Yes, sir. I'm Moroboshi. I'm the leader of the world-famous Moroboshi family. There was nothing I couldn't do. Oh, but, uh... Nozomi! What happened? Nozomi! That guy's AI girlfriend, she wasn't built for this, so I think he broke her. I could fix her up if I try, but oh well. Nozomi! So, what are your thoughts on AI girlfriends? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Well, see you in the next video. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!